you're in that situation yeah. and he was able to roll through that. I figured that would be interesting. But what I'm I'm anxious to see is how Matherman takes on the challenge. I thought they threw the ball up hard away Jr. never saw it get tapped. You gotta react to it. Out of the double team, hard away now to Bulldog. Good three-point shooter, and he starts the game with a three. We're forced into a rotation and really on attack mode. Dallas made 19 threes yesterday in the loss to Charlotte as Nemhard hits. Yeah, like what you said, Quinn. He's got to he's got to look to score. Silly wrong call. They're double teaming again. They're trying to make some guys. Now, this, he's actually a good decision maker. I think of the guys on the floor, other than Doncic. Pacers lead it 11 to seven. Now Irving with the basket and the foul. Get the basket. Doncic yesterday was 7 of 16 from three-point range, is Irving the basket. Holy, holy, there you go. Wara puts it down. What I was talking about holy, holy was I wanted Smith to be able to hold bullet. Jackson put it up no good, tips it up again. Wara there, Wara's got it. Offensive rebound and short. Jackson puts it in. You gotta love it. You got four off. This year from Houston. Doncic, 18-footer. And the first points for Luka Doncic. He's in off the bench. Smith has come in for Matherin. Drive to the basket and a block by Wood. Irving. Fading, scoring. I'm telling the guys an artist. I don't like that he does it against the base. Kyrie Irving, eight in scoring. Stripped away from McConnell. Hardy off the other way. And Gene Hardy has hit. Thoughts and an explanation as to why the Mavericks have been as they've been. Oh, how did Brissett hit that? <laughs> Game in a Pacers uniform this year. His return to Milwaukee, he had 15. As McConnell gets inside and scores again. Nice job. Second difference. First of three straight for the Pacers here. Irving, two more, and Kyrie Irving has 11. Here, he came back against Indiana back in February after he had missed two months. And that's another basket by Hardy. He's got seven. They lob it up to him, and he got the basket and a foul. That's principally what he's going to do. He fades. It's short. Rebounded by Hardy. And now Irving from three-point range. 14 for Kyrie Irving. Mother child of both have a gold medal. And that was through the hands taken by Neely Kina. And Irving goes in, leaves it off, and a dunk, and it's a 12-point Dallas lead. Has to be in the right place. This has nothing to do with why Buddy's not playing tonight. Thanks, J.J., on the Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance sideline as Irving got his hands in there, poked it away, and Hardy down the lane. Yeah, you got to stop the traffic. 21-13. They've done a nice job on the offensive glass. As Matherin on the baseline, hit again. That's the second time, Quinn. He's back behind the backboard. Good nice defense, defense by Warren. Really yeah. Good defense. Yeah, he got it. But he, if somebody's going to work that, ladies and gentlemen, just an easy shot. Deep three by Doncic. He's starting to take a little bit of a challenge. It should have been short. Nemhard pushing. Nemhard scoring. And Jason Kidd takes a dab. Irving, Irving standing in the corner. I mean, he had played at the last time out. Irving had played 26. I mean, he had played 17 minutes. Just not much you can do there. I know how this team would be, and they clearly, here's Matherin, and they'll count it. Yeah, but there's more, in my opinion, it's much more about the future than you got anything else. That's why you're looking at different combinations. Because you got to figure out. McConnell quickly, front court. Wara, shot big, gets it away. And Wara hits it just before the red light comes on. Give him a little energy going into halftime. He's got to be ready. Smith ready and hits. They, they, Smith is there. And that's Doncic. They have to make a decision. He
Well, let's see. Okay, see, see, this is what will they double team him or just let him play straight up? That, he can't guard that. that that's not going He's so big. <laughs> I think this is perfect for Nimbo. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, thank you. He was ready to laugh at it, too. Bullock got it from Doncic, and that's an assist if Bullock has his third three. Yeah, that first one had Neesmith on the ground. If somebody makes you pass it, pass it. Hardaway lost the ball, slipped out of his hands, poked away, Nimhard. And Andrew Nimhard in double. I think it's so good for, for Nimhard to see how change your pace in ball handling. Because he's a terrific ball handler, too. And count it, and a foul. Some impressive road wins. That was intended for Wood. He got it. And Wood has his first point. I mean, it was even off time. And he's still. Adler guarded by Hardaway Jr. Matherin again. And Matherin hits it in scoring. Nimhard sets for three. Another three for the Pacers. They've got Doncic bottled up. But he finds Hardy with a terrific pass. You see me look at you. I mean, when he got ready for the pass. Irving had an 11 point first quarter. And in the double team taken by Doncic, Hardy was there as well. And Doncic will load and hit another three. Does not fall, and it's tipped out. He got defended really well. But you're also playing a team who's highly motivated. Take a time out. Took the blow in that New York game, the first game to start the second half of the season when Miles Turner did not play. Tyrese Matherin and Nemhard have come back in, so the two rookies out there. Pacers have to shoot it. McConnell does and hits. Just beat the shot clock. Chicago at the Clippers later tonight. Oh, McGee. So he has a block on one end and a dunk on the other. Giving them depth off the bench. You see that Mavericks bench with a left hand. Nice move by Jackson. Yeah, nice determined move by Jackson. Jackson goes right around and scores, and that's a blocking foul. Are looking to get more experience, as we talked about at the top, with his team, and particularly with Mavis. And that's a basket by Nemhard. North Carolina grad. And now McGee again. Well, this is McGee. But that's shooters. They're better, but they've got to be watching this Dallas team. And Quinn, speaking about the team, as Morris hits the three that's ahead of the Pacers, Bulls have played some pretty good basketball, haven't they? Well, they, they really have. Matter of fact, they caught the Lakers. Which I didn't think they were going to be able to do Team ahead of L.A., the Lakers, and the Thunder. I mean, it's it's just bottled it's, up It's there. bottled up. Big hit. But that's, you, you like that one. Six of eight after they had one six of nine. And McKinley right the basket. Got to it different ways in this league. Bertans. That's his deal. That's what he does. Don't let him dare you. There you go, TJ. Let him dare you. Because they're starting to figure out, even in this game, if you yeah. notice what they did, they took turns. It was, it, oh, goodness. They're speaking up. This, this is all. Dallas. I like this. At least, that, you know, they still up competing. And Justin Holliday. Justin Holliday. His coach will meet at center court. The former coach of the Mavericks, Jason Kidd, helped. Rick Carlisle win a title back in 2011. And Rick Carlisle helped Jason Kidd get that job. Jason Kidd, who's been a head coach in Brooklyn, Milwaukee, was an assistant with the Lakers in L.A. and a very important win for Dallas. Now just a half game behind the Lakers and Oklahoma City.